Who will find me in his shadow for life? 
Thank you. 
18 years. He contributed his insights and scholarship in many articles to Farmer's Journal, with also contributions to the Farmer's Weekly in the United Kingdom. He was an avid reader, again, updating on trends in the Irish world. He also had time for recreation. He enjoyed many skiing holidays. He was a family man that all Martina and their two children. And it's not that awful long ago since I had the christening of the two children and the great joy that I see reflected in Martina's face and in yours as well at their birth and into the family years. I'm sure, like many of us, he carried his faith quietly and well, dreams for a family and a well-being, and indeed, I'm sure he had a dream for himself. Today we hand him back to God with happy memories than the one that we have today. We ask that the Lord may embrace Philip with peace and with a wholesome for them. Eternal rest of our time. Let us turn to God in our loss and make our deeds known to Him. We pray that with His loving presence, God may comfort us who mourn for Him, especially for our children and their children. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our might, we live in the hope of eternal life. When tears will be wiped from our eyes and death will be no more, may our trust in you never falter and our hope never grow dim. Lord, help us. We make all of our prayers to Christ the Lord. Christ the seed and the harvest farm, may we gather one day in this heavenly barn. A clear sun with a clear sun tears, Oh, the 
Remember the Lord your church, and spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis of the Old Dennis, who shall call the virgin. Remember Philip and Rick, whom you have called today from this world to yourself, friends, that as he was united with your son in the death of the case, he may also be one with him now in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of our face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with the blessed Apostles, with St. Patrick, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Let us stand and pray with confidence to the Father and the Lord's sacred gifts, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is now. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be honest with you in the same all distress. We await the blessed hope and the coming of the Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, accept your cross and peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and union in accordance with your way to live and reign forever and ever. Peace and glory are with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Love and God, you take away sins of the Lord and grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the Lord and hath the Lord to us all called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, in our world, as you shed your mercy, save the Lord and preserve to me. May the body of Christ be so loved for us.
enthusiasm for soil improvement and preservation was contagious, and very many farmers and growers consulted Philip on ways of increasing organic matter levels, unlocking essential nutrients, and growing better crops while improving soil levels. Long before I met David, I read Philip's column in Farmers Weekly, heard him speak at crop walks, and eventually, when I had reason to consult him about soil nutrition for beef and vegetables, he was beyond helpful and informative, introducing me to the concept of regenerative agriculture. While I will always remember him as a soil enthusiast and educator, above all, I will remember him arriving home to collect baking and beef and head out for a couple of hours of ballet or playing football. I would think of Philip and Martina falling in water to pumpkins during last year's drought. I would think of Philip and Martina, Aileen and Eve, trundling off up the hill with the two dogs. The girls all aware that every walk was in fact an invaluable lesson in field games, local history, plant knowledge and earth for accounting. A life well lived. On behalf of Anne, Michael and Aileen, we'd like to thank the following to everyone who supported Martina and the Wright family during this tragic accident. To everyone who dropped in food at the house. Everyone who telephoned from all over the country and around the globe. To Walter Furlong and Kevin Cooney and all the staff from Cooney Furlong companies. To those who provided guards of honor, Cooney Furlong, Base Ireland and Davis and Corporate Cooney GAO. To the local school for their love and support to Martina and her girls. And especially to those who stayed home and remembered Philip and his family in their prayers. We say thank you.
Thank you. 